castles and forts are a legacy of our historic past as much to modern Ghana, Africa and the world. Though built on African soil, they owe their origins to Europeans, Portuguese, the Dutch, French, Britons, Bredenbeck, um, Prussians, Danes and Swedes. In our Who We Are series, GBC News puts in focus Fort Metal Cross located in the western region. The British colonial fortification Fort Metal Cross, originally Dixco Fort, is in close proximity of the fishing village of Infuma in Dixco, in the western region of Ghana. The fort was built in 1692 to establish a base to search for gold in the surrounding area. It also provided a good operating base for English captains trading with the Germans at Fort Gross, Fredericksburg. The building of the fort was delayed because of local resistance. However, by 1750, the fort had been completed and armed with 25 guns. The fort was taken over by the Dutch in 1868 as part of an Anglo-Dutch agreement. The fort was renamed Metalin Cruise Metal Cross after one of the Dutch gunboats which brought the reinforcement. In 1872, the fort reverted to the British who renamed it Fort Metal Cross. The fort has since been used by both the police and postal services. The chief of Upper or Greater Dick's Cove leads to the English, a promontory site located on the shore of a large and sheltered bay. The cove's calm waters and sandy beach made it an ideal harbor for canoes and small boats while ships could anchor about three kilometers offshore. Six months, you know, we started the beta trade. So let's see. The beta trade started six months after the construction of the port. Precious minerals such as ivory and gold were exchanged for hat, mirror, gunpowder, salt, among others. For the British, the motive for starting construction of Dick's Cove Fort in 1692 was identical to that of the Dutch in building the Fort Battenstein to tap into the promise of gold in the hinterland. Also to win back the many English captains trading are the Brandenburgers, Germans fought Gross Fredericksburg in nearby Princeton. However, the people of Infuma, loyal to two chiefs whose allegiance swayed between the British and Dutch, besieged the fort several times on behalf of the Dutch, stalling its completion. It was a cemetery site before the fort was built. Gold was never found and the facility was used more for the repair and provision of food to passing ships. It was also used as a slave prison. The fort has three dungeons where the slaves were kept, two dungeons for men, one for women, and each contained 25 slaves. The ship came every three months to convey the slaves and their traded items. The slaves were marked with metal cross as a term of identification to prevent them from escaping. During the Kundum festival, chiefs and people of the western region go to the fort to perform rituals. The life of a 14-year-old virgin is the sacrifice on which the fort was built. She was buried alive. The inner structure has apartments, storage rooms, and kitchen arranged round a small courtyard. A place was set as a market ground. Steps, yeah, steps, 
from main gates to a handle near the crossing. Fort Metal Cross derives its name from the inner architecture of the building. Fort there is a bell on top of the building which they use to communicate whenever enemies are coming to fight them. These cannons were used to defend themselves against their enemies. There is a guest house around the fort. One white man changed the scenery around the fort and built these guest houses. He lived in the fort for some time. COVID-19 has slowed down tourist visits to the fort. Indeed, these historic buildings were no respecter of persons. An extraordinary history was made once when one castle, Elmina, held prisoners and a Santa king in all his splendor during the first stage of his forced exile from Ghana. Hence, not only modern Ghanaians, but also many in countries of the Western Hemisphere and elsewhere have a stake in ensuring that these historic castles and forts are properly preserved. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah.